Twitch, and we got it coming on right about now. So here we are. We're well, give me the link the so I get zone. it out. I I sent it to you. Did you? Yeah, it was in your Twitter, dude. Where? Yeah, it says the. Oh, you know what? I didn't send it to you. That's my B. Oh, liar! Uh, busted! Got him here. Thirty seconds. You're already lying to me. Busted! B -b 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 busted! I sent you the link to the other one. So here you go. Oh. So now we're live on both of them. So let me refresh my chat so I can get everything from everyone. There we go. And then yeah, there we go. You know, so you're redeemed. We're we're finally here, and uh, you guys, I mean, here I am just hanging out with some folks over here, and I'm noticing something weird going on with my but, webcam right now. Like, I'm super tiny. Why am I, why am I super tiny? Genetics? I guess, I mean, that could be something, but this should be way bigger. Hmm. I can't. Same link. I don't know. Whatever. I'll get this link out, though. Was it the same link? It shouldn't be the same link. I don't know. This is. Uh, well, I got the link to your danger zone. Are you going to the danger zone or your? Oh zone? wait, I clicked the wrong link. My bad. Oh yeah. What? What are you gaslighting me for? Uh, just Holy gaslighting cow. you for just for fun, you, I guess. Do you guys see this? I'm like being seriously gaslit. I'm just gaslighting the shit out of you right now. No big deal. Don't worry. Oh, about there we it. go. Okay. Don't Ooh. worry about it. Here, I'm gonna turn my camera off too because there's some weird shit going on with my webcam i don't know why it just decided to make me like teeny tiny it just made me the tiniest that i've ever been right. that's fine i mean you know what, what are we here talking about today anyway oh i thought that um some people would like to because you know, i was listening a little bit of uh kyle's interview with uh unirock no, nothing to be unexpected it's the same diatribe same nonsense same rhetoric um i have a blog though that i did where I posted uh, 10 questions. Did you get it? Because if not, I'll give you a copy right now. Um, did you send it to me in your Twitter account? Or I, email to I me? thought I did, but I guess I didn't. So I'll give it to you. Oh, Twitter, right? yeah. okay. I, but right. I didn't say that I did. I said I thought I did. Yeah, I thought I did, but I didn't. You, but it's I okay. Didn't. You can go ahead and send it to me. I'm sending you right now. There it is. There you go. But I thought it'd be fun to kind of go over these and see if any of these questions were answered by Kyle in that um whatever you want to call it, interview, uh, which is basically this Steve Zamini, Steve pissed off people, um, ergo, he doesn't get um, $30,000. He doesn't get the money that- He doesn't get the money, owned. yeah. Yeah, and, I mean, and everything else. And by the way, uh, I'm going to give a link to the Bullinator too, if you don't mind, the producer. Yeah. Cool. That's good. Here, I'm going to drop it in the he, chat. He well. was listening to, and he was just going, well, that's wrong, that's wrong. Yep, Kyle lied there. Well, I mean, I feel like Kyle lied a lot. Shocker. Yeah, and that's fine. Look, it, Kyle can lie. There could be narrative. It doesn't matter what they say. The courts, it's, it's all that matters. And the courts have decided. It's done. Everything he said is wrong. The court has decided that he's wrong. And so I don't know what he hopes to gain except to try to get back a shred of, of integrity, I guess, or he thinks he is by committing that he lied by not having a lawyer, which he lied. Shocker. Uh, and so, I mean, he, he wants to like salvage some stuff but here's the problem everything he said he can't back up and i know he can't back up where's the evidence for anything that he said it doesn't exist because i do have evidence uh dave's seen it bullet Andrew's seen it my lawyer's seen it the court's seen it uh where's his evidence i'd like to see it hmm i don't think we I, had any evidence hmm, right? i don't think we did no not not a shred of evidence to, to, that anything that he said was was in any way shape or form true and bull's going to come in here and Hopefully we can go over these questions together because that'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be interesting because I awesome. see a few of them. You know, like where are the books that, dude? I when I tuned into his stream for just a second, they were talking. Uni Rock was literally saying that people had seen the books. Yeah, um, really, because he said Reds have seen the books. I've seen the books. Let me clarify for the people in the back row. Books are financial records. Books are if you take accounting, you have what's called double book entry. We have a ledger report, and you have a journal. And then what you keep, you itemize everything from a debit and your credits. And then you have a child owner equity, equity formula. These are all things in, in accounting, basic accounting of how to make sure you have a proper PNL and income statement report. This includes all your itemized expenses. This includes all your expenditures and all your incomes. Those are what's called the books in accounting. Anybody who's ever taken any kind of accounting or had a business would know that is the books. The analytics are not the books. Huge difference. And by the way, Either Kyle is a grossly inept at basic accounting or the person he claimed to be in a CPA is grossly inept. Hi. There he is. There's Hello, him. other person that just showed up. That's Mr. <laughs> Bullinator. <laughs> what about Bull? What's up, Bullio? Go out on. 
It's on. It's already live. We're going on Danger Zone and Lucid Man. We're on two channels. Yeah, we're on, I was already live on the one channel, so I just made a new stream so that we could just talk about this on that one stream. That's what the Elusive Man's for, you know? Like, it's for data entry uploads, whatever. Okay, okay Elusive Man. <clears throat> so, Dave, where I got you here, um, we were talking about the books. For several months prior to all this happening for the Death of Non Sequitur show, I had been concerned, and I was concerned with talking to bull and red's rhetoric who's not here but you can ask him um that, that kyle was not showing me any of the financial records not not the analytics the financials where's the money coming in where's the money going out what's the itemizations what's our cost what's how much do we spend on advertising those are financial records and i said that i trusted him but i was getting a little bit concerned then i got more concerned yeah you got, more, I got concerned. more concerned and more concerned and more concerned and more concerned. So let me ask, well, why would I be concerned if all if this this lie, I'm just going to call an outright lie at this point, that he's perpetuating that I always had access to the books and Red saw the books? Because Gretz will tell you, he never saw the books. No, it's he's he's trying to conflate for the uneducated that the books and the analytics and the channel actual monetization screen are the same thing. Exactly. Because I, I will tell you what I showed Reds. I will tell you what I showed Reds. Yes, I did show Reds, the channel monetization page, because we were a little, I was, at one point I was concerned, like, hey, it's well past April 15th, 2019 here, and you're, you still haven't gotten any money, so I'm wondering how much money there is. How much is the channel actually making? I was very curious. I was like, oh, wow. So it's making like 30, 40 grand a year. And you haven't seen a dime. I haven't and, seen and a so dime. I, when, and, now, when, and now he's trying to say he paid you when you paid me? No, I don't think he did. And he's trying to say he paid my rent more than once. No, he didn't pay my rent. He didn't even pay all my rent. Well, where's the book? You show this. this is what the books show, I can, right? <laughs> I can go back to PayPal, my own very fucking PayPal, and say, this is what came from whom. And I can show you all the names. I won't show it on the stream because there's a lot of private names in there of people Clearly, yeah. in real life that don't want their names going out. But... I can I could actually highlight what Kyle gave me. It amounts to less than less than eight hundred dollars for over five hundred shows. Wow. wow! And by the way, I I you know they they seem to be like surprised by this, and that uh, I'm not saying yeah. he didn't pay for my internet, but yeah. you know what? Inter my internet was a channel expense. Yeah. Well, let me clarify because the first couple times. Like the first one or two times where you your internet got disconnected, um, I I paid for it. He paid me back on that, and then it got where he wasn't. I was like, you know what? Just put on the PNL report, and then it was like, I'm just giving you straight money. He never paid me for. Period. I was just I'm just gonna give you some couple hundred bucks. So anything that would have been on the PNL report, anything that would have been for your internet would have been itemized on there. By the way, those are called the books. When we're talking about the books, we're talking about that as well. So. I mean, I, I, like I said, I think he has to think that people are the absolute idiots in the world not understand what we mean by books, but try to get them yeah. to believe that it means the analytics. And as Jared, the in the as Jared in the chat is pointing out, Steve is, or Kyle is actually trying to say this had anything to do with me. It's my fault. No, I was put in between two grown-ass men that should have been able to talk this out themselves, but for Kyle's inability to communicate. That's all and, and you know, and you know, why, yeah, do you know why that I, it was a little bit, I was a little bit hesitant to keep going to him because I know he was volatile. I know he was emotional. I know he was, and he even admitted today that he was having issues. Right. And I, I and I was like, okay, I keep talking about this and it gets worse and worse. And I'm like, what, what am I supposed to do with this guy? And I and I was afraid he was going to do something. And by the way, when he when he did snap, we told him take time off, take time off. Yeah. We, we got it covered. We, we we were all concerned about him. We know that he was under a lot of shit, but he put himself under that shit. Hmm. Thank you, That's Tina. Not... Thank you, Tina, for saying you love everybody who is in the mm -hmm. chat who actually says they love me. I appreciate that. I love I love oh, you. That's but really I'm nice. Chat. That's so nice. That sweet. It you got some sweet. super chats there. Do we now? I didn't even see any. Oh, there's one right now. Somebody just said, Kawisa. So Bull has been paid $1.60 for Cho. What? Live it up, baby. Oh, live it up, bro. 
I, I, mean, I pay vastly more than that's that. That's <laughs> technically more monetization that most people than most people earn on a show just from ads. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Yeah, ads don't make that much, like a dollar or two. No, ads – and and they're spinning this narrative about the Great Debate Community Channel like you were making bank on that. That's bullshit. No, you weren't. You yeah. weren't. If I, I I actually sat there and thought about the mouth, and we're, we're talking pennies per person who streamed on that channel during the time period referenced. Yeah, well, Kyle has to use that. he has to use that Great Debate Terror narrative because he's got to suck up to all those people, which we're not going to be talking about. Because, by the way, Lucid Man, I'm going, one of the reasons I'm going on your channel tonight to let you know that um, we have a pack in the Great Debate community, 200-some-odd mm-hmm. people. And uh, they're all agreeing. We do not want to mention any of these people's names ever again because of the, some of the things they were talking about. And I don't even want to talk about what they were talking about because yeah. – they're just it's affecting people and i think you 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 probably saw some of it so you know that i'm not gonna be mentioning those people's names mm-hmm. but um i mean i, I saw wanna... a few of them pump up in my investigation and all the tweet downloading i was just doing and i mean it's just very interesting to view the sentiment around the situation since it's bear uh, it's began you know and i have looked all the way back even to before you guys were having beef and i see that there is some weird things happening yeah, I mean, I, if you ever want to do a deep dive in the D- GDC, um, I will help you to no end if you want to do, do something on that. And so we'll go, I'm sure. Well, that's good. That's yeah. good. I mean, okay. we were just doing that with the non sec This is still like the deep dive is still going. Like, so on the danger good. zone, that's the long stream. And, you know, like I pull stuff over onto the elusive man. So it's like a smaller, better nugget for people to understand. Because right now what people don't get is that. So Uni Rock was totally in the, in line with you for the longest time. And then we just got a super jet that says, Fractally wrong is the new norm for these people. You ain't uh, kidding, Justin. You ain't kidding, Joe. You ain't kidding. And, you know, yeah, honestly, and- go for it. I'll just say real quick, the reason why you can show they're factually wrong is because the courts will show they're factually wrong. And then mm-hmm. and, and then the what, what are they gonna do? By the way, I mean he just said, Oh, well, if the courts decide, the courts have decided, and and I think they're kind of missing that point. He has been found guilty of fraud. He has been found guilty of fraudulent conversion, of unfair and deceptive trade practices, mm-hmm. uh, breach of fiduciary duty, unjust enrichment, and breach of contract. By the way, for those again. In, in the other people's streams that are not understanding this concept, you cannot have a breach of contract unless you have a contract. 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 I, I, mean, I mean, I know flurfers are pretty stupid, but how the hell can they not understand that simple concept? Well, if they understand that simple concept, that means that their whole entire thing is kind of gone, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you've got the, yeah, you got it right there. So we can go through some of this stuff too, by the way. Yeah. It's under, yeah, yeah. I just Perfect. pulled it up because I yeah. saw it on one of these links and you know, like that's what I do is just make sure that we pull this stuff. And I mean, nice. this is the case, right? Yes. This is, this is actually what was going go down. To, go to dockets, go to dockets on top. Yeah, Third tab. That. There you go. It says yeah. 11, okay. 19 order. So, so these are electronic counter files. And by the way, there was a particular person who, again, I don't want to mention their name because I made promises. I won't. But uh, she's a particular person who um, does a lot of drama and that uh, Tina in the live chat hates. Mm, <laughs> we'll say I that. see. Um, okay. Yeah, um, let's not trigger anybody. Yeah, that would trigger anybody. And so this person was saying that there has been nothing entered from me to demonstrate my claims. That is a lie. And they know this is a lie. I have, I have on the electronic, counter, uh, electronic uh, uh, court filing uh, number, I believe it is 13, has my... Um, exact uh, affidavit which is exhibit a which has been accepted and the judge is, is already ruling on it and going to, to uh, enter a judgment on it very soon within the next month wow or sooner but i think i think it's is it 13 you'll, you'll see it because it says exhibit a at the very end i think it is it was, it was november 13th was the date on it november 13th okay I yeah, see Deborah November says he's 14th working. and November 12th, but I do see number order number 13 from the yeah, judge. I think, it's motion, I think it's motion of default judgment. I think it's number 14. No, no, it has. No, wait. Yeah, motion uh, of entry of default no, judgment. That's not, that's not it, though. Uh, proposed order. Try the proposed order. Okay. You'll see it when because it, it'll say exhibit A in the bottom. Um, I pulled up the proposed order, but it didn't show me. You have, to, you, you have to like manually open that document. You have to actually go and open it in, in Word. Right click it on the bottom where it downloaded and then go to open. Okay, so wait, so right click it on the bottom, propose. Yeah, right, where right, 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 downloaded oh, on the bottom. It. I see it. I see it. No, okay. no, 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 no. Go way down. Yeah, there we go. Now, da- well, you already downloaded them. There we go. No, no, you just click. Yeah, yeah, I'm opening it up. Just let it go. Okay. I didn't realize that I downloaded it. Yeah, you have already. to open it. 
Now my word's opening, so it'll take it a second, this program. Okay. And then you can see if that has exhibit A at the bottom. But uh, yeah, I mean, everything Carol's going to be doing is just trying to spin narrative to make me out to be this bad guy, right? I mean, that's it's called it's called character assassination because he doesn't have any evidence because he hasn't shown any evidence. Hmm. The findings are right there. Findings. Yeah. Where it is, says okay, conclusions but, of law. Kyle yeah, Curtis is liable to the play the trip Steve McRae for breach of contract fraud, conversion, breach of fiduciary duty, and unfair and deceptive trade practices as set out in the plaintiff's complaint set herein. Plaintiff Steve McRae is entitled to access to financial documents associated with the fund sequitur's condition and 50% of non sequitur's proceeds prior to being removed from the channel on June 11, 2019 to defend it. Fraudulently induced the plaintiff to turn over control of the channel and proceeds from the channel to the defendant, wrongfully converted partnership access for his own use, and breached his fiduciary duty as a partner. The defendant's actions were unfair and deceptive and were in or affecting commerce. The plaintiff is entitled to tribal damages under NC Gen Stat Treble, Treble, damages. Treble? Okay. And the authorities under fees, blah, blah, blah. The It says the plaintiff needs... Access to financial documents for the channel, including all documented amounts collected in order to determine the amount he is owed because the defendant obtained control of the channel from the plaintiff by means of misrepresentation with the intent to deprive the plaintiff of access to the same. The plaintiff is entitled to recover administrative control of the channel as its rightful owner. Hmm. I mean, that's pretty definitive, is it not? Yeah, that's like about as definitive as you can get in that particular persuasion. I mean, what are the orders? What are the orders underneath that? Oh, um, let me pull it up. I'm trying to find the one that has actually my exhibit because I got to go through these myself. Okay. Uh, um, the orders say the defendant is to return administrative control and primary ownership rights of the non sequitur broadcast YouTube channel and associated with parties, businesses, and endeavors to the plaintiff. Number two, the plaintiff is to provide, or the defendant is to provide the plaintiff with all financial documents associated with non sequitur's financial affair and the conditions within 14 days of this order. The plaintiff. Or, and that the plaintiff submitted an affidavit requiring the amount of actual damages and attorney's fee he is owed by the defendant within 30 days of receiving the financial documents from the defendant. After the plaintiff's affidavit has been filed, the court will enter the final judgment stating the amount due to the defendant. And it's yeah. just to point it out here, this isn't signed because it's just the yeah, That's the way waiting for the judge to sign. Yeah, and by the way, CV notes, rightful owner. Return to the rightful owner. Returned to, right? That's a very specific return to uh, right because point. I owned it initially. Now, yeah, go to number 14. That's what it's under. I just found it. Mm -hmm. So this person that said that I have not proven my case wrong. I have given an evidence. It's a four page affidavit signed and notarized. It's under, it's under ECF number 14 motion for entry of default judgment. Go down to the very bottom. Oh, I downloaded both of those ones, but I'm not seeing anything on the bottom on number 14. Why is it? Why is it? Why is it off of yours then? There it is. See, that's weird. Every time I've loaded it, it hasn't shown me the rest of it. So yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I just say mine. It has more copy. See, um, yeah, that, the, I just redownloaded it and it said number one on it, so it's the same file. But this one's got the rest. Yeah, of Yeah, that's why I thought it was weird because I thought it was fourteen too. This is Exhibit A. This is my statement of affidavit. This is my evidence. This is my proof. This is my sworn testimony that Kyle did not disagree with because he didn't go to court over it to disagree with it. Yeah, that's why default judgments suck, especially in these matters. I mean, he can't even go online and talk shit because he literally didn't show up for it. He has been, he court. has admitted these, he, Kyle has admitted all this in this in thing is true by default. And if you go to the, if you go to the orders, this is what we're, we're basically waiting on is that uh, they've accepted this. The judge clerk has said, yes, the judge will, will sign it. It's just a matter of time. And that's all we're waiting on. Wow. And that, and once he signs it, this is certified. Once he signs it, Kyle has 14 days to give me back the channel and 14 days to show me the actual books, which means the financials. If he goes in front of the judge and says, oh, well, the financials are the analytics, the judge is going to laugh at him mm -hmm. and, to, and, and, and probably told him in contempt for being an idiot if that's what he thinks the books are. Wow. This is like a total like hack job from Unirock. You think? I mean, you know, like when I was looking at here, you could clearly see from sentiment analysis on his tweets where 
he decides to go against you. And it's like, he was your biggest, he was like your biggest fan on Twitter and tweeting a lot about you prior to December 12th of 2019. And it was just by December 15th, he was completely out of your camp. And character assassination pays, man. It's big, big. That whole group, that's what they do is character assassination. They don't have evidence. I Here's the thing. They're so big on evidence. Okay, where is Kyle's evidence? Did he show a goddamn thing? Did he have an affidavit? No. Did nothing, zero, nothing. And then for say that, oh, well, you know, he just didn't want to go to court. He told me to sue him. Mm. I knew I had the evidence. I wish uni would fucking hurry up and end this goddamn farce of a stream that he's having because well, I, I'm not I, want recording it. I want to stop recording it. I want to stop recording it. I really mm -hmm. do want to stop recording it so I can use my computer normally. Yeah, it looks like he's finally almost done with it right now. He's playing his end screen. So it looks like we're getting there. I mean, you guys have all the evidence and receipts. I mean, you have oh, we're the already done. Yeah, we, we're, we're golden, man. We won. We won. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's like, what? He's still doing this shit? Like, why? Like, I don't because understand to, what this is trying about. To get back, because he's trying to get back his credibility with these idiots. That's all. Mm. But his credibility is shot because anybody can look at the court documents associated with it that see clearly that that dude's got to give it up. And Unirock is now assisting this guy and breaching whatever the court order is. And, you know, oh, yeah, the rightful owner. I mean, what does that say? Is that what it says? Yeah. Kyle I, Curtis, owner of Non Sequitur Show, gives us his side on versus mode. And then if I. He's not the owner, though. Yeah, it says, uh, 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 the defendant is to return administrative control and primary ownership rights of the Non-Sequitur podcast, YouTube channel, and associated accounts. So we, before we get back to the questions, let me ask you this, uh, Elusive Man. Once that court order gets signed, once that judgment, uh, the default's already been signed. So we have a signed default judgment. That part is over. So the part where he's talked about the fraud and all that, that's a done deal. What the, what, what the next default judgment we're looking for is the return of the ownership to me and um the the opening of the books that's that's the next default judgment now once the judge signs that and he has 14 days um i want us to come back on and you can actually point this out to people saying that you need, i, I want to i don't want to say his name i promise i wouldn't that other guy in that stream that was other outright, was lying his ass off with and, and so was kyle they both clearly were lying because th i'm telling you right now this will get signed this is my prediction. It will get signed. I've been told by the clerk it will be signed. It's just a matter of time. Mm. Well, I mean, it's like it's not going to get signed. I mean, it's pretty clear right now that this is exactly what's going down. And anything else that anybody's doing online trying to poison the well, so to speak, in this particular situation is just not going to be helpful. I mean, you could submit this video that Uni Rock just did to the court as more right. evidence or i mean if you needed to you know like you already yeah. won but well, Lord knows about it he he said this is mo what he said was monitor it mm -hmm. but uh he's he's like it doesn't matter he's like don't don't even worry about it it's a it's a done deal so but well, yeah, we'll come back we'll come back on and i want i mean i want people to call out them as absolute liars once this gets signed because that that is saying he then has to return to, to the channel to me and open the books not the analytics Mm -hmm. And the like, nobody cares about the analytics. We want to see what the actually books are. I want to see that AdWords account showing the payouts and where the payouts are going to and who is pay getting the payouts and so on and so forth. That's what actually needs to happen. And that's what's not happened in any of this exactly. situation. And it should be the easiest thing for Kyle Curtis to do. And no, he didn't have AdWords. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, well, exactly I mean, right. it, you need AdSense in order to get paid from YouTube, period. Yeah, AdWords you, are different than AdSense. Yeah, if you have exactly. an AdSense account, you just log into the AdSense account and it tells you exactly when you got paid. That's not the book either, though. But that's the that's the closest thing that he has access to to try to prove anything. Or to well, say now that, that we found out he wasn't keeping books, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, he was he a keeping book? Oh, oh I seriously keeping. don't no. think he was keeping books. He said his account he said his account he said he had a book. Then he said he had an Excel spreadsheet, and et cetera, that. et cetera. I have that. Yeah. yeah, I actually have that in writing that he said he had an Excel spreadsheet. I'm like, that's not really the books. I thought I thought that was kind of a, uh, you know, a, um, you know, uh, a kind of a consolidation thing because I don't mind using Excel spreadsheets either. I'm a big fan of them. But he said he had a CPA, and the CPA had the books. Hmm. Come to find out, he didn't have a lawyer and didn't have a CPA. Mm, somebody in the chat say Brandy Danielle says the chat suggested that the court documents were faked by Steve. 
<laughs> Hello, motherfuckers. Hello. This is literally you... coming from an NBC public court document access website from the court. The court keeps updated that anybody could go on to. Wow. Like, These are, you guys are delusional. That is a delusional yeah. statement. Yeah. So, so by the way, get... yeah. by the way, falsifying court documents is <laughs> a felony. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, it's a me... really bad thing to make all this shit up. It yeah, would be are actually horrible. Filed through the court. Um, yeah. But before we get back to the questions, because this wasn't on there, but uh, Ka, uh, Bull, did at any time any of us discuss being paid under the table or have anything strictly in cash? No. I so, never even asked for that. I've, at, I, I got I? money. For, no, you didn't. You actually wanted to know how much was owed to you. You wanted to see the books the whole time so that you could make sure taxes were paid properly. Which, That's how back ass words they are. They because they don't care they, about that. They're running they, they're running this script just to make themselves look better and make me look try to make me look bad. It's, it's ridiculous. ridiculous is what it is. It is. But that's okay. So can we go back to the questions, Lucy man? Because these are fun. So far, the questions are pretty good. I feel like some people aren't even trying to really ask questions. They're more or less just saying that they're bad as flat earthers. And what Vertical 7 says, what happened if Kyle deletes the channel instead of returning it to Steve? Well, he, he said he was an archive. If he did, we leave the channel, it would be considered a, uh, what's called a civil contempt charge, and he would be arrested and put in front of the judge for destruction. Ooh, destruction of evidence and property? Well, yeah, because it's in litigation, and you can't destroy things pending in litigation. Oh, so he would go to jail for that. That seems to be. Well, he would. He would show. be in jail for a day while he well, where he would have to be in front of the judge, probably. Yeah. Who's Egghead Show? Is that one of your homies? I love that guy. Yeah, I love that. You love yeah, that guy? Egghead. Okay, good, yeah. good. I just saw you tweeting him out, so I wanted to say. Yeah, what's Egghead up, is Egghead. from. The, he's from Drunken Peasants. He was on my show the other day. Oh, nice, 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 yeah. nice. No, I met the questions from the um, my blog. Mm-hmm. Well, oh them. yeah, there are. Oh, you met the question. Good, there, but my bad, my bad. So yeah, wait, we cool. said Kyle lied about the CPA. Kyle lied about her. why did Kyle admit to fraud, conversion, unjust enforcement, and all that stuff in those businesses? Got it. Number five, why did Shannon Q, Godless Engineer, well, I, I, Caitlin? Yeah, you're going too fast, man. Well, I'm sorry. Those first four, we already answered the first. Well, one, I, right? I, well, the the, the I want to uh, well uh, the whole fraud and fraudulent conversion thing. I just want to touch on it again okay. um, to make it very clear to people. He has been found guilty of those things. He has been found liable for those things. Those are unequivocal, material, legal facts. He cannot say otherwise. Hmm. Yeah, because he didn't defend himself in court. I mean, he's pretty much, that's what a default judgment is. And that's probably not the thing that you want. But I mean, where's he going? Oh, I'm going to delete something. I can't, he can't delete the channel. He's not allowed. I mean, he's only got one option right now is to return it. Or you know, be ever for forever. Well, I think he knows that. I think he's trying to save face and go because he's like, oh well, the courts say it's his, it's his. Yeah, okay. Well, it, the courts have already said that. He's just trying to save face. I'm telling you right here now. Timestamp this. That's exactly what's happening. Hmm. All right. Got it. But anyway, so it. what are we up to? Six. Well, we're on number five. It says, five. "Why did Shannon Q, Godless Engineer, Caitlin Chloe?" Mr. Atheist, Katie Joy Paulson, and all co-hosts of Not Secular Show say Kyle lied to them about the money and books, not having a lawyer, and him having sole rights to the stream and kick me off of Non Sequitur Show. Which they all did, and they all um, publicly announced that. And by the way, Kyle just admitted again he did not have a liar. I mean, lawyer. <laughs> he did not have a liar. He uh, he did not have a lawyer. I and I called that. I said he did not have a lawyer. Did I not? Mm-hmm. You did say that he did not have a lawyer, and it seems yeah. like it's all over now for her. Him. Why didn't he have a lawyer? Why wasn't he taking care of this business the correct way? Yep. And uh, how is the how is the channel on financial ruins if there's so much money that he was keeping from me, supposedly? Where's all mm. this money that's supposedly keeping me? I, 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 I don't understand this narrative. You can't have it both ways. Either you're keeping money for me or you're there's no, there's no money left. Which the fuck is it? And either way, both of them kind of don't make it sense. Because if there's no money left, where the fuck did it go? And if he was keeping money for me... He would be keeping money for the both of us until taxes were paid. Then he was supposed to distribute it. And that didn't happen. And that's when we said, oh, fuck this. Enough. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, that, that kind of shows something there. And, you know, it says number six. Why did he ask Bullinator, non-sequitive show producer, to lie for him? Oh, let me address that. Let me clarify that for you. 
let me read first of all what he actually said. I've posted this on my Discord. I've you know I was going to keep it private. I was doing the the honorable thing and not sharing this at all, but you know what? At this point it's 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 moot. So this is what Kyle said to me. And this was on the 26th Tuesday the, at, at 6:26 p.m. The Tuesday of the show collapse, mind you. Or maybe the day before. I forget which day it actually went south. I think it might have been Wednesday. But regardless, this was very close to when this all went down. He says, this is what happened when he gave me access back so that I could produce the show, but he, because he was sick. Because he was out sick for a little bit too. So he says, for the time being, until I figure out how the hell to handle this mess, if Steve asks you, tell him your access went back too, even though it hadn't. And that all you know is that I'm reconfiguring all the co-host schedules and that's all you know, so he needs to ask me. Well, one, I wasn't going to speak for Kyle. And I wasn't going to lie about my level of access to the channel either. That's some bullshit right there. Asking me to lie about my access to the channel and then to turn around and say I wasn't trustworthy because I showed Reds how much money the channel was making? Come he on. Tried, he was trying to throw you in the bus. He was, he was just, he, he's, he's trying just, to he's, throw me under the bus. He's yeah. put me in between Steve and him for, for months at this point, since probably about November of the prior year. And I was getting a little tired of it. And finally, I said to him, I said, where is it? Let me find it. I said, that's crazy, dude. I said, stop putting me for fuck's sake, Kyle, get into the show and have this conversation. If you don't want to have it, then tell them, meaning Reds and Steve, stop putting me in the middle of this shit. And yeah, he and didn't respond to that. And he said, then he comes back on the 14th of June and says you around, I think you were unfairly put in the middle of things. And a large part of that was my fault. I would like to move forward with you, but I have to be able to trust you and that oh, you aren't going to be involved with relaying any info show related to Steve or red. So basically you're saying you're, 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 you're going back on your statement that it was 50 50 at this point with me too. And he says, we can set up a weekly payout for you so there's no more vagueness there, and then I will work on my communication with you and organization, etc. Take it over and get back to me. I never did. I never went back to him. Yeah. And, and it upset, it upset, that really did upset Bull. And and <laughs> once again, uh, this, this whole thing, Bull was there from the beginning. Bull knows straight up, and so does Reds, that the partnership between me and Kyle was 50-50 from day one. I mean, the call either one of them a liar on that, it's just mind boggling. And both of them would have signed affidavits. Mm -hmm. There's been, there would have been no qualm with that to sign it, signed and sworn affidavits. So this is the, the, the truth. And, and Kyle knows this, this was a, this was, he's trying to spin it. So, you know, he doesn't look like the, the entire bad guy. Like, Oh, you know, Steve just came up with a 50, 50. He knew it was 50, 50. He admitted it was 50, 50. We, we did everything together at the beginning as a partnership from day one. That's that. I mean, anybody who's watched the channel knows this. This and the only true. time, and the only time he did something solo, the first one was with Alex Botton, who's not a big fan of mine. But I believe I was actually sick that day. But I mean, um, this narrative that he was, you know, interviewing people, bullshit. I was on every stream till till he stopped scheduling me. And he's like, "Well, you're not on the screen. You're, you know, I'm going to be having with this with 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 one of the other co-hosts." I'm like, what, "What's going on?" And and Dave, how many times did I and other people go, "Hey, what's going? Are we on tonight? What the hell's going on here?" And he was forcibly not scheduling me, and then saying, "Well, Steve wasn't being you know, on as many shows as before." Countless. Yeah, I can't. I can't even count how many times that happened. So, so that that narrative is bullshit. And and the, and by the way, he had one other narrative. He said, "Uh, because you know, he, there is some truth to what he says. Uh, like he, he mixes truth with fiction, right?" The best liars do. Yeah, and so everything he said about the beginning, because uh, I watched it in the beginning, was true. How he started the podcast, how he came to me, all that was factual. Um. But then he kind of jumped the shark when he started running this narrative that uh, when we first started having some problems, which, by the way, I showed those emails, which I don't know if he knew or not, uh, and he was wanting to, to like kind of dissolve everything, 
I'm like, well, where are those you know, emails? Where can I get these emails? I have, I have it on the Great Debate community. If Ooh, you want to look, I would love yeah. it. So wait, I, I just show those emails; they're all out. But I was saying that uh, why do you want to, you know, why do you want to do this? And he's like, well, I could take your name off the, the uh, business anytime. The off the business. I'm like, okay, but you know what? What do you mean by take off? I mean, we would have to like do a dissolution and do a settlement if you wanted to kind of end this. But I'm like, he's like, well, the um, the thing that I had you sign. I'm like, you didn't have me sign anything. What the hell are you talking about? He's like, well, figuratively signed. I'm like, wait a minute here. You can't tell me that I signed something and try to gaslight me because it's like, well, don't you 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 need to check what you signed. You need to remember what you signed. And I'm like, you you, you cannot gaslight me and make me think that I signed something that I didn't sign because uh, he never sent it to me in snail mail. Do you, do you guys find it? Is it on the Great Debate or is it on my main channel? I think it's, it's on, on your main. Maybe it's on my main, dude. My bad. Yeah, it looks like it's on your main. No worries. Yeah. And so uh, I was like, you know, I didn't sign anything because you didn't send me anything to sign. I was going to look it over. And he's like, well, I just meant figuratively you signed it. I'm like, oh, my God. But, he, you know, he was talking about, like, shutting everything down and dissolving the business thing. And I was like, well, why would you want to do this? I wasn't specifics like, hey, you know, we're going to have to, like, you know um, – you know, go through some kind of bankruptcy court or something like that. But I was, uh, you know, telling him that, you know, clearly this was something that he just can't arbitrarily decide because we have a business arrangement. Well, I mean, you guys had a business arrangement and he decided to go against the business arrangement and try to do all kinds of shady shit that, you know, clearly he didn't have an answer for. And now, you know, going on to Unirock's channel and trying to create more drama, more dissolution, more, you know, bullshit. I mean, it just clearly shows that this guy doesn't really have any more options on where he wants to go with this one. I mean, he's really pretty much just stuck. And obviously, since he hasn't been streaming on that channel, he hasn't gotten a payout from it in a while. And I mean, you know, one can only imagine, you know, how we're going to gonna actually understand, you know, what was being made there, other than by looking at the analytics or looking at the We have a rough absence. estimate. Yeah, well, it's good it's, that you have a rough one. But it's real rough. But I mean, we nearly need the books. Um, and then, obviously, if he doesn't have the books, we're going to have to come up with a number. And then he's going to have to, like, either say, yes, this is too high, that's or, or that's fine, or just not do anything. And then we, w we win. So, mm. all right. So, all right. Next question. What do we got? Well, I mean, we got these emails up here, and I was just showing that sure. to some people, but we can go to the next one. It says, why did Kyle admit to a 50-50 partnership in the death of the non-secretary show and in court, doc court records admitting it by failing to contest? You know, why did that happen? How come he admitted that shit, and now they're turning around and saying, oh, there's not a 50-50 partnership. That literally just happened right here in this one, where he's still just, like, streaming, but there's nothing going on. Yeah, I mean <laughs> – I mean, the court has decided there's a 50-50 partnership. That was that's that's been decided. He 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 can't uh, actually say that that's not what the court has decided. Now he can believe otherwise. He's he can believe that we had no partnership. He can believe what the hell he wants. I don't care. But what his beliefs are is irrelevant. I know that we had a 50-50 from the beginning. Bull knows this. Res knows this. Anybody who's with the channel knows this. The courts know this. I have demonstrated it to their satisfaction. I mean, not only that, you have e actual videos out there that show every single email and everything associated with it. So it's almost like comical that somebody could try to lie and say that this wasn't real. I, I Well, because he's desperate. He's absolutely desperate. I mean, I've been transparent as can be. I mean, there's nothing else I can be tra more transparent about. I and 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 I talked about this with a few with the Bulls. Bulls has my story changed at all? Like from the very start, have, as and be honest here. I, I'm I swear to God, be as honest as you possibly. Have I changed a goddamn thing, or have I only said things and explained because I wanted to have the utmost truth out? Uh, you've been extremely truthful about this. The 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 idea that you have changed your story is laughable because. Anybody who's been paying attention knows you haven't, okay? Here's the thing. There's a lot of people out there who want to spin the narrative that you are being dishonest. And those are the ones that are taking little things completely out of context and making them sound a different way. It's kind of like saying Einstein believes in the ether. No, Einstein didn't believe in the ether. Although he didn't have, did, did have a paper on ether theory. He did a paper on ether yeah. theory, but he didn't believe ether existed. Yeah. Hmm. It's just laughable. No, this is laughable. I mean, this whole entire situation has become 
quite the comical show. But you know, if we're going to keep asking questions, let's get to the next one. It says, right, which, why... let, me ask, hang on, before, "Let me ask you, uh, elusive man, um, before you do that. Um, do you think that when do you how, how dishonest do you think it is when somebody says something along the lines as well? Before we got monetized, we were talking about doing other things for monetization, and I was looking at the stuff, and Steve said, "Well, it's your call." And he says, well, that's because I'm the boss. I'm like, bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. That was not why I told him that. I was like, it's your call because you're looking into this. You decide. You make that decision. I'll let you do it. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, that was your call. Therefore, I'm the boss. Fuck you. What the hell kind of bullshit is that? I mean, for it's God's sake. It's just... straight up fucking BS, man. It's, it's control ridiculous. tactics, bro. It's like the power and control wheel. Oh, Utilizing it against your tactics and then going on to other people's shows and lying about it. I mean, you know, I feel like the whole thing's pretty dishonest. And I mean, now I have all the receipts on, you know, where Uni Rock went on this stuff, and I clearly shows a complete 180 turn in this thing to the point where, you know, he went live with this guy, and this guy's saying, Oh, it's not real, it's not there yet, it's not done yet, the judge still has to sign it, all this other crap, and you're just like, What? Like how much more narrative can you spend before this whole thing goes over? Well, and we just we're just waiting. That's all. Like I said, I got nothing to worry about because I know what's going to happen. I legit know what's going to happen because I've been told by the clerk what's going to happen. Well, the clerk told my lawyer, and my lawyer told me, but whatever. All right, what do we got next? Hmm. Um, the next one on here is why did Kyle lie about requiring me to give the non sequitur show channel for SEO reasons? And I have the email for that too. Did you see that one? Elusive yeah, Matt? I think it's actually in that video that I was. It just is playing. in that video. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, let me. So let me try to get this straight here. Um, if it was his, if it, I, mean, I started that channel because he was a noob or whatever the new, new narrative is, why would he need it for SEO reasons? And why would he try to get, have it? You know. And by the way, I started it, and I was fine to have all the AdSense go to me. Uh, I don't think he liked that idea. Mm. He's like, you know, I'll, you know, I have an accountant kind of thing. And I'm like, oh, whatever. I don't mind. I trust you. Well, was I wrong on that? Yes. So Kyle says, I never admit that I'm wrong. Oh, yes, I was wrong. I, I trusted him. I was wrong to do so. Clearly at this point. I mean, I don't know how I could say otherwise. I mean, There's, I, I that right there is Steve saying, I don't want the taxes to be fucked up. That's yeah. what that is right there. March 6, yeah. 2019, last year, a year ago almost. Yeah, there's nothing worse than fuck up your taxes. I did it on state. Uh, and it was sucked. And 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 by the way, we were telling him, uh, you know, I asked him before, and this was I have no way to verify this. This is just my story, but it's just like, you know, I we want I want to know how he was taking care of all this, how how it was all getting done. And do you know what he told me? Oh, my guy has all that, or tax my tax guy, I think is what he said, has has all that. That was just it. My tax guy has all that. I'm like, well, you know, who the fuck's your tax guy? Oh, well, I'll get it to you when you need it. That was that kind of that kind of drivel. And I'm like, okay, if I if I push this any longer. Because he was getting agitated, right? And when when Kyle gets agitated, agitated, he he's not too friendly to have a conversation with. I mean, he, you saw what happened in the, at the non sequitur show. So I didn't want to push him too much. But this is when I was like, okay, something's not right here. Yeah, he definitely seemed really angry about the whole situation, and it didn't seem right. I mean, and putting out the emails and everything else shows that these guys have clearly you know have lost everything that they could and i mean lying to somebody about stealing their channel for seo reasons is just like the stupidest thing that you could possibly do because what seo reasons do you need that for oh you need to be able to put in your adsense so you can get paid you son of a bitch that's basically the i only didn't reason. know i i gotta admit i just i didn't know i was like okay well you know how to do search engine optimization and you this is your your wee house so you take this part of it Mm. Glober Bob says I clicked off but he's claiming just now finding out about all the court stuff and he acts like he had a chance to win the court he has a chance to win the court's favor what what, no, what now what, wait now no, after the default doesn't. judgment I don't think so no he's done no that's just completely bullshit he's done <laughs> no chance at all I mean theoretically if he could demonstrate that he was in a coma maybe for the last six months maybe but I think then even then it would cost several several thousands of dollars to even to even try to, to pull that one over the wall with just eyes well all we would say is hey you know he's streamed he's not in the hospital he knew he was he was ordered we have we have actual uh confirmation that he's been processed yeah mm. they don't they don't continue until they serve the party that's how yeah. that works Ooh, they're saying now he's asking about bull and air ooh 
wonder what he's asking about Bull. What's the deal with Bull in this whole thing besides the fact that Kyle lied to Bull and he lied to Steve? And it's pretty clear on both fronts of this. I mean, why did well, Kyle... Was the... But this is what we told Unirock uh, a lot of some of the stuff before. And he knew this. And then I was like, oh, Steve, Steve came to my channel and lied. What the fuck I lie about? God damn, I said his name. I'm sorry. It's going to okay. be a habit of getting breaking out of him. Sorry, guys. I'm trying. I, 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 I want to address this a little bit here. Nat Pat asked the question. He gave Bull... He's saying he gave Bull what? Actually, pay me. There were several times during this time I was producing the non sequitur show, I was looking for a job. And I was not in a place where I could afford to continue to pay rent without income at all. So there was a couple times where the community went to bat for me. You can talk to AT2 Productions about that. You can talk to Look a Pig about that. You can talk to, there's a whole bunch of people who gave me money that you can talk to about that, who ran those fundraisers for me, okay? Frank from the Geek Room is one of those people. You can talk to them about the fundraisers, okay? Kyle gave me less than, $800 over the entire time period from the show's coffers, probably 500 of which was my internet bill, which is a channel expense. That's not the same thing as paying me because I can't I produce. I can't produce if I don't have internet. I can't do my job for the show if I don't have internet. So if you're not willing to pay my internet bill as a minimum to produce for you, then I'm sorry. That's just, that's, uh, so taking that away, he probably spent 50 or $60 on those fundraisers. And then maybe a couple times, one time he gave me 40 bucks for treats. I'll give him that. Ooh, 40 bucks for treats. That's so nice uh, of 40 him. 40 bucks for treats. So, and so, one, so, at one point, he actually paid my electric bill, too. But Steve gave me, like, $300 out of his own pocket. Right? And apparently, yeah. Kyle paid him back for some of it. I don't know. He didn't, pay me, he didn't pay me back for that part of it. He paid me back for the ones before that. The one I paid you $200 for food that I know of that I didn't get reimbursed for. Um, and I didn't even ask him. I was like, I don't, even, whatever. But the one right. before that, I, I paid him, and I said I paid for Bull's internet. You just put it on the PNL report, is what I told him. And I have the actual, I have that in the email, by the way. Um, and if anybody wants to look at my PayPal in private, I'm more than happy to show, as long as I trust you. So if I don't trust you, if if you if someone like one of those TST people came to me and asked to see the books, fuck you. You're not looking at my PayPal. He says he paid you. Somebody said that he's yeah. claiming now that he paid you every month for, for your internet bullshit. Wow, that's a lie. So, um, towards the end, maybe toward May, March, maybe February, March, April, May. So a couple months a out of the entire time. A couple hmm. months out of the whole time, he paid my internet. Hmm. Yeah. Well, and and so again, let me and let me ask the audience. Let's, so, be, let's be clear. I've made more money on the non sequitur show than Steve made. Which is just G-Man made more money than I did. Which is fucking wrong. G-Man made ten bucks. But let me ask the audience: Why would I say I've given Bullinator and I think the amount was one hundred eighty dollars or something like that? It was in my emails. But let's assume one hundred eighty dollars for arguendo. I said I gave a bull one hundred eighty dollars. Just put it on the PNL report. Why would I tell him to put it on the PNL report if I didn't think that was books? And that was back in like March or something, you know. I mean, come on. Is this nothing about his story fits? It just absolutely nothing fits. But yeah, it's all just kind of like lies and misprision all over the place to try to save for his own ass, actually. I mean, you know, you put something out here. Why did Kyle lie about his non insistent lawyer and tell him not to pay me when he had no legal right not to give me what I was earned? He refused to even give me the name of the accountant, tax guy, or CPA. Yeah, and at the very beginning of that that discussion they were having, he was talking about well, when I was talking to my lawyer, and then near the middle, he's like, "Well, I lied about having a lawyer." Which is it? I mean, we got multiple lies that are coming up left and right with this guy, and it's almost kind of funny, you know, like the people in the chat kind of are like saying that Bull's a great guy, and but 
they're not really we're not really getting too many negative things about Kyle, although somebody does say that Kyle says that he's paid many months of your rent in full. They're bull. Well, let's let's put that to rest. No, the fuck he didn't. Show the books. And I mean the actual PL report. Show me where you did that, first of all, Kyle, because I would like to know what name you used to pay me. And I'm going to log into my PayPal right now and look up and add exactly how much he's given me. And I will give you a number shortly here. Yeah, I spy said it's going to be a tax nightmare. And that's what, the, yep. that's what we're trying to figure out. We're like, what the hell did he do? Because I've been talking to Chesh and, you know, and Bullinator, and you know, we're going to start up. Of course, you were block, of course you were blocked crazy because because crazy Chrissy, because that's what happens when you ask poignant questions to them. Or if you oh, have yeah. hashtag busygate in your name, maybe. I don't know. But we want to know what's the best way to do this for tax purposes. And I'm like, that's 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 a big thing when you're running a business. And he just was not at all uh, forthcoming with that. Hmm. Somebody in the chat says he paid like three months rent, internet bills, and gives Steven money back for Steve or money Steve has paid bull. Hmm. He says that he gave you he, money. He, he, he did pay me a couple. Yeah, he immersed me the first like two times or so like that. But then after that, he didn't. Hmm. Interesting. It says, wait, Mr. S or Sweet Heathen says, you're such garbage. Kyle t lie on Bull bad enough you asked him to lie for you. And I mean, that's pretty serious right there, right? Okay. So I'm looking back. This, apparently, I can't pull up more than a couple of years. Let's see here. Let's go back to start. Is it possible to go back past? Yes. Okay. I just have to do it manually. Okay. I'm going to go back to when did – I'm going to go back to February 2017. I've been going back two years, and all I find is non sequitur show gave me $55, and Kyle gave me uh, $10 or something. I mean, it's not okay. very much. So I don't know how much. So I'm going from two one seventeen, with at which point I was not even part of the non sequitur show, to today. Okay. What is the account so, that he's using? I got. Let's see here. Is it the non sequitur show account? Yeah, is it the non sec account or is it the other one? It's funny too because number 10 kind of falls into this. It says, Why did Kyle lie about saying he I would be paid everything I was owed 224 plus days since he first promised I would be paid in counting? And then end of story, you know, Rock is a troll. But you're right. Like, this, mm -hmm. this is kind of funny because he's like, Oh, yeah, we got paid. You guys got money. Everything was happening. You guys are making shit up. But it's like, Come on, we got you like literally going through your PayPal's right now, being like, Show us the money and show us how much money was made and then let us pay our taxes on it. This doesn't seem very difficult. And honestly, like I have this court order right here that pretty much is the thing. Yeah, I'm only finding that he only reimbursed me like $55 once. And uh, but I, mean, I, I could be – that might be under another account. So I, 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 I remember him trying to reimburse me for the first two times I paid his internet. Okay, as of, October, as of October of 2018 – I've only got 115 from the non sequitur show and zero from Kyle. Hmm. Let's continue. M meantime, I'm watching Steve's number continue to go up. I sent you quite a bit. Yeah, you did. You spent, sent me like 300. I've done this before. Well, I mean, total that. I mean, some of it he reimbursed, but I still sent you quite a bit to. And then it was supposed to be reimburse me, and like I said on the PNL, and he never did. And then the last time he, I just didn't care. I didn't even bother with him. I'm like, whatever, this is for me. There's another hundred plus another twenty. He still claims that he paid plus. your internet bills every month. You must have a really cheap internet bill. Yeah, I really do. Because <laughs> uh, I don't. My internet bill is way more than that. Yeah, my, my PayPal is like a slush fund. I keep like a hundred on bucks in it. That's just to pay people. Um, I, I don't have very much in it. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend keeping a lot in your PayPal. Mm, interesting. 
I mean, every month he's saying every month ever. So I don't know, man. This is getting to be really crazy with this whole thing. It is. We're trying ridiculous. to we're we're trying to get to the truth of this. We got court documents and stuff like that. We got Uni Rock Online with his boys still live talking about some epic nonsense. I mean, this is pretty crazy, dude. Like, and it's too weird because his stream is not even showing anything. Super chat. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I mm-hmm. I he just doesn't even have. He's just got like one screen up, and it's just showing up. It's super weird. It's super weird. So, know, anyways, man. that's that's it, guy. I mean, I. Like I said, I mean, six, six, I've added it up. It's six hundred and fifty dollars hmm. from the non sequitur show. Oh. That's it. That's it. I'm all the way up to December 2019, where I'm seeing seeing Steve's transactions for doing caffeine corners. So I know I'm past when Kyle gave me shit. So six hundred and fifty dollars, folks. That's all I got paid for over twelve months worth of work. I'm sorry when I exaggerated this figure in Kyle's favor because I I'm thinking the fifty dollars he gave the Geek Room when they did their 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 GoFundMe for me I think so maybe seven hundred. Hmm. Yeah, it's funny. I can't believe he took uh, what's his name off the screen. Some people in the chat are considering it's because he might look like he's been doing a lot of drugs. I don't know. If that's true or not, but it sounds like an interesting theory. Just putting that out there. Hey, Uni, can you quit lying? Thank you. Yeah, I would really appreciate it if they stopped lying about all this stuff and just kind of quit it. But, you know, here we are. They're like on a marathon right now. It's almost two and a half hours, almost three hours that they've been going live. No one Honestly, cares. If it's the same no rhetoric. No one cares if you're going live, Katie. No one gives a shit if you go live. Mm. It's the same rhetoric, and yeah, well, all these people think it's like, oh, look, they're going to be salvaged by all this. And when it comes out, when the court, you know, does process all this stuff, and you know, he is forced to open whatever books he has, and is forced to give me the channel, they're going to eat a lot of. Yes, they are going to be eating a lot of crow. Yeah, and they're going to go like, we'll probably just be like, well, whatever, whatever. I, you know, I don't care anyways. But it's like you lied about everything, man. You legit lied about everything. And you're just trying to character assassinate me, trying to make it sound like, oh, well, he didn't want his money. And then uh, I don't want to say her name. I'll just say KJ. Um, was like, oh, well, Steve said he never wanted his money or needed the money because, you know, he just didn't want it. And I was like, no, what I said was to Kyle in the emails, which are documented and on that video, I said, make sure you pay, your, you know, get your, your rent done first. Because he said uh, he had to use rent out of the Patreon after the fact. And then he had to have some other expenses. And I was like, you know, well, take care of yourself first. I'm trying to be the altruistic guy. I'm like, you know what? I'm, I don't need the money right this second. So take care of what you need to. And then we'll get it out of AdSense because he couldn't get to AdSense for some reason. It was locked. And I know he's probably telling me the truth on that because I've had people have that experience where AdSense, especially when they first set, set it up, they can't get to it for a while. Yeah, I've you had know. the same experience myself. Yes. Yeah. So I, I believe that he is telling the truth on that. And by the way, because of personal experience with other people. So I, I'm not the kind of people to run narrative like that. And so I was like, okay, so my, he's like, I'll get, you know, make sure that your share is out of that. Well, th- okay. Where's that share? And my, like I said, I was trying to be the nice guy. So if any apology I have to be to myself and not to do again is I'm not going to be just a nice guy any longer. Um, you know, I, I was like, oh, just make sure that, you know, you're taking care of your, you have rent because I didn't really need it. And I do that with all my friends and I treated him as such. I got to make sure people are taken care of. I'm not going to let them starve. I'm not going to make them be out of the street. I'm going to make sure that they have rent. I'll make sure they have food. And I did the same thing for him. And what I get on it, I got fucked over for it. And then he has the audacity to try to run this, this script. Come on. It's just, it's just, it's mind boggling. It is mind boggling. Oh, apparently Uni Rock put Kyle back on the stream after a bathroom break. I wonder what that's all about. Powder well, room people break. Are noticing he's lying. They know that he's lying. I mean, people have messaged me going, God damn, everything Kyle is saying right now is total bullshit. But all he has to do is convince um, that other guy's, uh, I don't want to say his name, that other guy's um, sycophants. And by the way, they're using that word for my, my people. I'm like, what's my people are pretty normal. You know, we, we have a cultivation of audience of normal freaking people. They don't go out harassing anybody. Nobody nobody from my community has ever gone out and bullied or harassed anybody. They would be ex from the community. I would seriously get rid of their ass. Well, it's a smart thing to do. I don't like it when people do that sort of shit on 
my stead or trying to act like they're, you know, on my team helping me out. I'm all like, hey, you're not my mook. I'm not a knight. We're not having, you know, a debater battle here. It's just, you know, we're supposed to just be looking at things and asking people to come on. And, you know, I emailed Unirock. I knew he wasn't going to answer the email, but it was so funny. Because he says, email me. Email me so you can get a hold of me. Okay, Uni, I emailed you, but uh, you didn't get a hold of me, you son of a... You son of a beesh! Uh, you know, I, I, I wasn't going to say anything, but now that I'm thinking about it, I, I just had a friend of mine. I'm not going to say who it is if they, unless they want to, but they, they messaged me and they offered me to buy me dinner. You know, like, send me a dinner. And they said, you know, you've been through a lot, and um, you know, I want to buy you dinner, which is a very sweet gesture, something I've known for quite some time. And I was like, I, I really appreciate it, but it's not really needed. It's just, you know, spend it on yourself. Go have a nice dinner for yourself. You know? Um, and this is the shit that I get. This is the, the crap that I get from from Kyle and other people that just want to make me out to be this horrible person that caused all these problems because I, I had philosophical disagreements with Arn Raw and, and Matt Dillahunty. Oh my God, big fucking whoop. They're wrong. Deal with it. Hmm. You know? There's somebody in the Deadly River Fader. He said, Elusive Man, I just came in, but did you guys point out that Uni recommended a few travels to subscribe to that yeah. also happened to be Steve haters? Dun, yep. dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, because they're all feeding off each other now. Well, they, yeah, that's how it works. Golden. But what we're doing is we are not mentioning any of their names any longer. We're not associating with them. Well, we never associate with them, but we're not even uh, any, anybody that, it, like on Twitter, that is talking to any of these people, um, we're just blocking. And that and that includes if I bull and air talks to them, I'm bull block bull. If if a sweet heathen block talks to them, I will block sweet heathen. I do not want to have anything to do with these people. And Twitter, I don't give that shit about anyways. I will not be involved in any, anything to do with any of those people. In any way, I, and even in a I want to make I want to make a notable exception to all the people that we that have been mentioned in the past of this fiasco. Shannon Q spoke first when it came to this stuff and she was emotionally charged at that point in time. She has been, I have spoken with Shannon on several occasions privately. Okay. And I'm going to tell you, Shannon knows Kyle Lai. I know she did. And, sh and Shannon is upset with Kyle because of that. Shannon yeah. has been one of the most honest people I've ever met. So I don't, I, I, she hasn't gone off the rails and done anything like accuse Steve of anything at all. And that's so. why I made a video thanking her. Uh, if you go to my channel, I have a video that, uh, that uh, she, she corrected something, you know, she did the honorable thing. Uh, she said that uh, I was collecting social security. I never collected social security. And th there was this narrative that, uh, that Kyle was going to bring me cash. What was, was I didn't know how he was going to pay me. I was like, give me the fucking money. I don't care how I don't care. I was like, I don't care if you have to bring me to in cash and none con. I don't fucking care how you get it to me. That's what I was referring to. It was just a flippant statement. I was, I was, uh, I, I, I knew she was upset and I didn't really want to like lay into her. And I didn't want to like, Hey, look, you know, you're wrong on this. You know, Fuck Shannon. What the hell are you saying? Uh, I'm not collecting Social Security. I don't care how he pays me. I've already told him I don't care how he pay me. I didn't want to get into all that, but she corrected herself and she said, I was upset. I misspoke. And it was fixed. That's what somebody who does to, that is a respectable individual. So when people ask, well, why have you gone over Shannon after Shannon Q like you have the other people? Because Shannon Q is not like the other people. Now, you know, does she associate with them? Sure. But I will make some dispensations, you know, but you know, at least she was honorable enough to correct herself to say, you know what? I was wrong. Um, I found out that Steve was correct. Kyle would lie to me. He wasn't on social security. He didn't ask for cash. She corrected all that. And, and nice. Kyle knows this. Did he finally end his fucking stream? Maybe. I can check. Oh, yeah. It looks like it's done. It looks like it's because all, all I got is the spinning wheel. Yeah. It looks like his spinning wheel is done. He might be done. Do you, do you, by the way, but would you notice that this, this, these people will will try to find any little crack? And this is one of the way, one of the reasons why I'm hyper truthful, and it's actually caused a problem. But I'm hyper truthful because everybody that's on that side will look for anything to find fault with, but they don't hold that anybody else to the same standard. And if anything, they don't even hold Kyle anywhere near to the same st standard. No, they're not. They're not. They're not like. It's it's mind-boggling. It's because they have hate boners for you, Steve. That's all. That's all it is. 
They want to find any little thing and twist it to their end. So, but anyways, the fan guy, I appreciate it, man. I think that, um, you know, I think people will figure out for themselves in the next 30 days or so or less. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. well, the next time when the judge signs that doc, everything's basically over for any narrative that people are running. But it's good to put a put a note in it and show everyone what's going on with this shit. Because I mean, why? Why? Yep. April has a question that she said. Can we clarification about the program that Kyle stole from Pool? I think she's talking about VMix. Oh, you stole oh, VMix? That's a little complicated, but uh, I'll let Bull in her answer to that one. Well, okay. VMix was bought for the channel. Okay. I want to make that perfectly clear. Vmix the was channel. bought for the non sequitur show. The email address it was registered under was live at nonsexshow.com. Okay. So I was using that obviously to produce the show. And Kyle decided when he ended the show that it wasn't going to be for me because that was one of the agreements when we first got it was that that was part of my compensation. This is a $1,200 piece of software. If you go up to where it says um, purchase. Yeah, I got it. Up. Up purchase. There you go. It's a one-time purchase. Not It's not a renewable, right? It's $1,200 is the one we got. Yeah, okay. but it's not renewable. It's a one-time thing, right? You get two it's seats. It's a one-time thing with a year's worth of upgrades. So I, when I got my job, I actually purchased it for myself because Kyle said I could use the other seat of the license until such time. So when I was producing for, for Mel at the Geek Room, I was actually using the other seat of the Non Sequitur Show license to do that for a while until I purchased it for myself. So... Going forward, I have my own license, but Jammy bought it for the channel. Jammy Sislo was the one who bought VMix for us. And I want to give him credit where credit is due. Um, he did it because he was impressed with my work. And anybody who tells you other word is just wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a pretty expensive program. I it mean, was. honestly, I, it is. I wouldn't use it because I would just use OBS, but or exploit. He also but. got he also got a, a Adobe software. He got Premiere. He got a bunch of other pro softwares from the um, support from the non sequitur fans. Nice. So that's like fifty bucks a month uh, at least, because that's what it costs for a what do you call that? Or that's what it costs for a subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud. Yeah, I think he bought, but he bought the package stuff and then the subscription as well. So I, I don't know the whole price, but it was not cheap. And he also got a lighting system, a very expensive lighting system. Yikes. Yeah. So, so I mean, there's been a lot of loss here, but at least we know where we're going to be moving forward. Uni Rock kind of like bought the farm. Yeah, no, I love when they do stuff like this because like I said, it's, it, 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 it's one of those short-term goal things. They don't look long-term. I look long term. I know Bull does. We'll 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 definitely show and like with like the whole email things. You know, it took a while, but eventually I released them. I was right, uh, and I'll be right about this too. So they're looking very short term, and they're going to be found wanting because it's already been done. The court has already just settled on this. I don't know what they think they're going to be trying to convince anybody of, except for the people that are just too stupid to go read the court papers or understand them. Mm, apparently somebody in the chat saying that oh they, he's got a lawyer now his name's Stefan Steen or something like no, that. No, Stefan Steen used to be Kyle's lawyer um, as a sock account, but he's no, he hasn't been that sock account in a very long time. He gave it to somebody oh, else. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and apparently they're changing stories about you again. I mean, you know, we don't want to feed any more of the trolls and stuff. Steve, I want to thank you for coming on. Yeah, thank you, buddy. I appreciate things. it, man, very much. So I appreciate it. And I mean, honestly, everybody that's watching knows what's going on. And I do. mean, everybody wants to know more about what's going on with this thing, and I'm sure they're going to find it. So I appreciate you guys coming on and chat chatting with us, and I hope you guys have a blessed one. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, anybody's got any questions when it comes to the non sequitur show, please message me. All the other drama and other, other nonsense um, with these people, uh, we are not taking any more questions or dealing with at all. Uh, and this is we're going to be moving on from that because of uh, the fact it's gotten they've gotten so toxic that they've harmed actual people, and we're not going to be stand for that as a community. Okay, yeah. all right, great. I'm out. Thank, thank you, buddy. Out, man. Thanks a lot, Bluelinator too, man. Appreciate you coming in. Later, no problem. Peace out. 
I mean, geez, guys, that was such a crazy thing, you know? We were watching what was going down with Steve and getting all the clarification that we need for this uh, uni rock show that went down today. And I mean, not only did we hear a lot of lies and whatnot, we've seen basically the truth firsthand on what's going on. I mean, this kind of makes a whole lot of sense now. So, Elusive Man Channel, we're hanging out in the danger zone still. I gotta take the puppy out and do all this stuff, but I think we have a lot to think about, guys. Lots of fun, depressing weirdness that's happening out happening here. I mean, it's just kind of crazy. There's so much going on with the Kyle situation, and it's so clear, and some other people are just doing some crazy shit. So it's, it is what it is, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyways, see you later. See you later, Elusive Man Channel. Hopefully you guys have a beautiful night. We'll still be on Twitch, D Live, and everything else. Adios, my friends, and remember, we love you.